I'm going to make the mixed media morsel number eight, which is about houses. Um, I watched Cat Hand's video and I am thinking about which way to go with this. Um, I do have some lovely stamps, which are houses, and I also have some wooden embellishments uh, that contain houses, so maybe I'm going to do something with these. But the first step she took was collaging her background. Now I am using uh, beer coasters. This one I uh, mocked up, but as it's going to be collaged, it doesn't matter that this is black. So I'm going to glue a few bits and pieces down. I have here a piece of wallpaper which has a very nice texture and I have some orange and some book text. So I'm gonna speed this video up and while I'm gluing this down. So I've been fiddling around um, and thinking about what I should do with the house or houses and I had a lot of, well, I had this little book with lovely images in them and so I took a few out and these are some labels and um, bows and hearts and this these are going to be my houses so i want to keep the background quite neutral so i'm going for white and gray i think so let's start with that and see what happens be okay for now. Um, I'm going to use these stamps so uh, that will cover quite a bit of the background so but first I'm going to dry again. Okay so this is dry and I'm going to stamp a few of these houses with a black ink. So this is dry and I'm going, going to glue this down with a Mod Podge. Um, this is also a Mod, mod, mod Podge. <laughs> you see me use it uh, often and I just did it, uh, put it in this little container because I uh, find that easier. And also I have this in a little bottle, uh, a soft bottle which uh, squeezes out the glue very easy.
So now I'm going to outline the little houses and I'm not sure if I will do that with white or black. I try I think black and I can always do a few accents with the white. This is my water brush and because of this gel pen, this black gel pen is, uh, is water soluble, I'm going to try and make a bit of shadowing. So I want to add a little more and I was thinking about using this uh, stamp of this bike but because I have texture on here I probably will ruin everything if I try and add this. It would be nice though. What do you think? Would it work? Well, let me try. I'm just going to try it. Okay, that's not too bad. Yes, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I was thinking of adding some rub-ons. I think I will do this one. So I think I'm ready with this Mixed Media Marshall number 8 houses. Um, as these are my inspiration prompt cards as well, I'm going to find a piece of paper to put on the back and print out my prompt, my inspiration prompt. So I'll be back in a second. So this is the paper I'm going to use for the back side. Well, because it has these triangle shapes on it, so this could be roofs of houses. So I'm gluing that down with a glue stick. And outlining this with my gel pen.
like this. I already put on the date and now I'm going to paint the edges with black, I think. I need a little sponge. Where do I have my Sponges. <clears throat> I'm going to leave you uh, some links in my description box uh, so if you like to join in with these mixed media morsels um, you can visit the Facebook group uh, Cat Hands Setup and also I will put up a link to her channel so you can learn about these morsels and play along if you like to. And this is actually the first morsel I did in one go. I have a bin full of morsels uh, beer coasters that is that didn't work but this one I did in one go and I was actually afraid of this because I didn't I didn't ha had a, a clue of, of what to do so Well, that's it. Mixed media morsel number eight. Houses. Um, remember to check out the description box. Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that's really appreciated and that's really helping me um, uh, to get my channel found by others so thank you very much and hopefully see you again next time bye bye